through you with the shape she made. She is coy and changes clothes to please her multitude of lovers and their gaze. And the whole wind is king of everything. All, all the roads are named for him. He is on the lips of children now. The leaves are his consorts and stones his soldier men on a island where the soil is on dust from distant deserts. We all must bow with him. Do not, do not, do not. We'll be afraid. Oh, never mind your old skirts or your perfect hair for you are the wind's plaything. Oh, you are the wind's plaything. Oh, you are the wind's plaything. Oh, 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 oh. So good against the green, there is a waterfall where the mouth of the river used to be. Well, that is the one place I have found to hide from the king, but the stillness there it haunts me. And the light and the shade and the water is not enough. So do not, 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 do not. Well, be afraid. Oh, never mind your whole skirts or your perfect hair. For you are the wind plaything. Oh, you are the wind. Thanks. <laughs> that song came from a project called Nafasha Ayer that uh, I founded um, back in 2007 with an incredible guitarist, uh, San Francisco based, and, and visionary artist, Todd Brown. And uh, I do a lot of different kinds of work, both as a musician and a songwriter and a singer, um, as well as with arts and culture. Uh, and you, how do you use arts and culture to, to impact the world and to create connections? Uh, in communities, both locally and internationally. Right now, my current project on that end of things is called the Arba Mensch Collective. And uh, I'm originally from Ethiopia. It's a group of 15 artists from all across the Ethiopian diaspora. And together, we're going to this festival of traditional music in southwestern Ethiopia in just a couple of weeks. 
And there are 56 tribes from southern Ethiopia, this incredibly culturally diverse region, come together for three days to sing and dance and share their culture with each other and with the world. And we're going. This is our journey. It's happening now. It's incredibly exciting. So I'm going to play another song. This one's called Walk Up. And in the spirit of you know, collective creative collaboration, you all are going to sing with me. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> you have a part, and um, it's easy. And don't worry, because there's so many of us that nobody will be able to tell anyone's unique voices in there. But th it's important that we do that, because there's, there's something that, that happens when a room full of people is singing that is entirely different from one person up here alone. And, and I think we should have that experience. So this is called Walk Up. Well, this is a part of it. So, you ready for your part? Yes. Oh, good. You get an A. You, it's great. I love it. See what I mean, though? It's like, mmm, that hum. The song is about being in the sky, and it was um, inspired by a sculpture by James Terrell in the De Young Museum, which is just across the street here. Uh, and the De Young commissioned me to write this piece.
paper you saw floating down the street earlier in the day. Who knew this? Who knew this would be easy, easy? And you suddenly think of the kings and the poets in the past and how they must have felt. Thank you. I just want to say one last thing, which is to thank um, Adrian Arias, who is a beautiful poet, a videographer, a visual artist who created that last video, and he's in the audience somewhere. Um, <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> And uh, to thank Benji Zussman, um, I'm also a 2009 TED Global Fellow, and uh, Benji is my fellow fellow, and we met in Oxford, and he created the video for that first piece. And this is Cherith Premawardena on the viola. Thank you very much. <laughs>